Hello and welcome to this tutorial where I will show you how you set up an upload form for images in .NET where we're going to use .NET 6 as a framework. So I have already set up this web app project. Um, so what we can do now is to go to pages and we will just use the, the front page as the page where we're going to upload the image via a form. So let's go and open our CS HTML file and I will also open the backend file. And if we go back to the CS HTML file, I will just delete all this and then I will make a form. And this form should have a method of post and it should also have a ENC type that is equal to this one multi part slash form data so inside this form we're going to have two input fields uh, the first one is going to be a type of file and the second one is going to be the type of submit and inside the file input we want to also have a name and we can call that uh, our image file and then we want to only accept some images that contains the extension extension of a png or a image that only extends of a jpeg so now we're telling the input field that we only want files that is png or JPEG and we also have to close it. So if we run this now we can see that we have a form with a input with the type of field. So if we click this we can then choose a image. But of course if we choose the image now and we say open it will be here but if we click send nothing will happen. So if we go back to the code and we can just shut this down and go to the CS file then first of all let's get rid of this logger and let's make a new method that's called on post but actually we want to await this request so we have to make it a async method and then we also have to say on post async because we want to have the response from the FTP call and then we also want to make it a task so now to get the image from the post request, we have to say request and we will say dot form and we will say dot files and dot get file like this. And then we want to target the name of the input field. So in our case, if we go back to this, we have the image file name and we want to put it inside here and then we want to store this in a variable so if we just call it image and then we want to make a new method uh, that we're going to await so we say await and then we will have a method called upload and it will take one parameter which is the image so now we have to make the upload method and this method should be a public async task just like it says here so i can hit tab but we will call it upload instead and this one will take one parameter which is our image and this is actually a i form image and we'll just call it image or well, let's call it file actually and sorry of course this is not i form image it's i form file just like this so the next thing you will do is to have a string where you put your URL to your FTP connection. So this will be called FTP and then colon and slash slash and then your server name and the path to where you want to save the image. So I'll just type my server name that you're not going to see. But what I will show you here is that inside my server, I'm going to target a folder called images. And then I will close this off and say that I want to concatenate with a timestamp that we're going to make right away. But let's go and concatenate this with a 
dash and then we will have the actual file name and the way we get this is that we say file uh, this is the parameter we we get and we say file name and then let's close this off so the timestamp is actually just to make sure that you never overwrite a file that's already on the server so we're going to say var and timestamp and this should be a get timestamp and now i just copy and pasted this timestamp uh, method uh, that we're going to use because it's just this one you can just copy and paste it all the code will be in my blog so i will just put a link uh, in this youtube video but uh, let's just go and make this done so we can say that this should be a date time and we want to say that it should be now so we get the time uh, that the, the clock is actually right now but now that we have the server and the folder and the file name then let's go and make our request so what we're going to do is that we will say ftp and say web request uh, it's actually this one and we will call this our request and as we can see now it don't like this so if we just hover over it and we say show potential fixes we are going to use this system net so click that and then we want to use the web request and say create and that's our url that's going to be inside and what we also want to do is that we want to cast this so we want to say that this should be a ftp web request just like this so now we can type the credentials in our request so we say request dot credentials and inside here we want to make a new network credential and it will take two parameters it is the username and the password to the ftp server so i just type my credentials and of course you have to to enter your own credentials but the next thing we will do is to say what method we're going to use and as you can see it it tries to say that we're going to use post but we're not going to use post so but but we can use this request method so just tap this and we will remove the post and then we will say web request method and say ftp and upload file so now that we have the connection set up, uh, we actually want to make the connection. So to do that, we're going to say using, and we will stream this, and we will just call it FTP stream, and put it equal to the request, get request stream. Just like that. And then we want to say file dot copy to and it should be the ftp stream so if i just try to find an image on google uh, what should we say just say mount mountains and take this image and let's save it on the computer just on the desktop that's fine and it has this very long name and we say save and then i will open filezilla so that I can actually see what I'm doing inside the, the folders. So I'll just connect to my FTP with FileZilla. And I wanna close this and I already have the connection. So right here you can see that I have this images folder and I already have some images inside. But now that I can see the uploaded files, I will go and open our solution and try to upload the image. So inside here, I can say that I want to choose a file and it was on the desktop and I can actually not see the image. And I think it's because I said that inside our forum, we will target the image JPEG, but it also has to be with an E. So let's try to close it and open it again. And then let's choose a file and go to the desktop. And now you can see that it's right here. So I'll just say open and we want to send it 
and I actually got an error, uh, but that's okay. I just found out I wrote the wrong password, but now you know how it looks if the password is or, or the username is wrong, then the, the remote server will return an error where it said it's not logged in. But now I actually made the password to the right password, so let's try and close it and we will open it again, the solution. And let's try to upload the image again and say send. And let's go to our filezilla and let's see if there is an image now. And there is. We have the, the timestamp and then the name of the image. So that is actually how you upload an image via a form in .NET using the web request or the FTP web request. And of course I will put this on my blog so you can go and copy and paste all this code so you can get the upload uh, method and the get timestamp method. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video and please subscribe and like if you liked it. And else you must have a nice day. Bye.